That would mean, in order for Martin to be able to reach down to touch these lower strings, that the heart has to sit on his right shoulder. It has to. If it was sitting on his left shoulder, he would not be able to reach with his left hand down to where he needs to be able to reach. So it has to sit there, and it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed at all. People say, OK, on a piano, there's 88, 88 strings, 88 keys. The harp has 46 plus 21 on the floor. That's more than enough. If the harp had 70 strings, how long would my arms have to be, right? My knuckles would be dragging on the floor, wouldn't they, in order to be able to touch all the way down to here. So it's ingenious, but you must always, always remember that these are considered to be strings on the floor, that these are just as important. Now, Martin knows that the best place to play the harp, as far as the best attack, is exactly the same as on a trampoline. Okay? Gentlemen, where is the best place to jump on a trampoline? Center. In the center. Why? Most best bounce. Yeah. You're going to get the highest bounce, right? You jump on the edge, you're either going to fall off or you're not going to have as much of a bounce. So he knows that. So he's going to visualize a line. He's going to make an imaginary line that goes right smack through the center. He's not going to do this. He's going to make a line right through the center. Okay? And that's going to give him his very, very best tone. Not too high, not too low. Martin also knows that after the 1700s, when these big harps came into existence and the tension went really big time, we stopped using our pinky to play. We use one, two, three, seldom, but sometimes four. Mostly one, two, and three, okay? And we don't use our nails. If we had a nail, we'd lose it. So gentlemen, if you have a nail, we'll have to work around it just a little bit, just so we don't damage your fingernails. But it has repetitive strain injury. You get very, very strong. No, repetitive strain injury. It's like when you are too much on carpal feet. tunnel. Yes, we've all gone through it. Okay, but I mean, you're not going to have that tonight. No, I don't think. <laughs> so it's going to sit back on his shoulder, nice and easy. Let go. See? <laughs> He's got the right position. He's sitting up straight. He looks the part, doesn't he? Actually, did you know you were going to do this tonight? This is great. Okay. <laughs> He knows that his third finger, I'm not going to flip you the bird, okay? He knows his third finger is going to be his strongest finger. He's going to get the best sound. He also knows that the energy to play this instrument is not going to come from his shoulders. It's going to come from here. And this is the hardest part, gentlemen. I want you to think really hard about this. What's going to happen is he's going to make a ball of energy in his gut. And he's going to bring that ball up, and he's going to extend that energy all the way out to his fingertips but his arm has to be completely relaxed. It has to be totally relaxed. If it looks stiff, you'll see it, and it won't look nice. It won't look good. It has to be relaxed. So he keeps his position. He gives me his third finger. <laughs> Okay.